All right, guys, Supercar Street Racing here. This is going to be a banger. Um, we are going to take a look at my smart home today. So this is probably, I could be wrong about this, but this is probably one of the most involved smart homes that you will see. Um, pretty much every device in my house is, is a smart home device. Um, and I want to go through this room by room and kind of tell you guys um, about what the products are, which will be in the link in the description. And I'd appreciate it if you could click through because I get, uh, can pay for some of this stuff with that, not to try to be a beggar, but it does help. I don't make money on the videos because I don't have enough subscribers yet, but I'm working on that. So let's start with the basic smart home devices. So I chose the Amazon ecosystem. Why did I choose Amazon? Well, to be quite simple, I like the Fire Stick. So to be in that ecosystem makes sense for me. And that's why we went with Amazon. Sorry if this is flickering. Um, the LEDs do weird stuff to the camera. So let's talk about a little bit about the Amazon ecosystem and some of the smart devices. So I have all of their smart devices, literally. Um, all of the versions of their not the new generation ones, but at least the the uh, generation before the new on most everything. I do have a new generation Echo Dot, which I will show you. Um, this is a generation uh, before the new one, Echo Show 10. Now, this is located in my kitchen. It's not ideal. I do like my devices kind of uh, mounted, uh, flush mounted and things like that, but um, this one I, it's really hard to get it flush mounted just because of the depth. So as you can see here, it is quite deep um, Let's go like this now what I was able to do in this case though was I was really lucky I was able to get the wire in between the shelf. It goes behind uh, The shelf here it goes up into the cabinet above the microwave and that's where I get power for the Echo Show 10 I'm all about keeping things nice and clean and the echo show 10 here in the kitchen although i don't use it for the actual audio output it does have tremendous uh audio quality it has really good uh bass response you can adjust the bass and the treble for those of you who think that the um, echo show 10 is a little bit bass heavy you can adjust that by just telling her to turn the bass down so the good thing about having this device in the kitchen is it's kind of a central location for everything and uh, it, it is a good spot to give commands for your smart home. Now, let's move on to the, let's move on to this monitor that I have in the kitchen. So I have a Samsung um, HDTV here. This has an, a Fire TV, uh, sorry, Fire Stick 4K. And uh, it, if you look here, so, this can also do anything that Alexa can do because you have this um, remote with the, with the volume button. So let's say we want to look at the security cameras on this box. So Alexa, show me the driveway. Okay. So hopefully Alexa will now do our thing so it is calling up the uh, the driveway now so there we have it so now a, a little bit of explaining to do so these are wise cams w-y-z-e they will be in the description there's going to be plenty of affiliate links there for you guys to click through so I like the wise cams because they are HD they are indoor outdoor super easy to set up now this is running on Wi-Fi and it's high definition and there you can see um, a live look right at the driveway. There's the time and the date and you can actually talk through the cameras as well. So here we have in the kitchen the summary of the devices. We have um, the actual Amazon devices. We have Fire Stick 4K here on this television so you can watch anything Kodi, um, Prime, Netflix, whatever on this guy. We have the Echo Show 10 here, so we can do commands through that or we can use the volume button here on the remote. So here's an example again. 
Show me the pool. Okay. Now you're not limited to just wise cameras. Other cameras can integrate with Alexa. Now the way you do that is called a skill. You need the Alexa app on your phone and you install the skill for, for this case, wise cam. And then you sign into your account and that's how you integrate smart home, uh, some smart devices. Let's say that's how you integrate the cameras um, if they have a skill. Other devices, um, plugs, switches, etc. I will show you in a bit. Um, and so that is the that is how you use the Fire Stick. Just one of the ways, and you can you can do any of the of the commands. Uh, example. So here is the pool. Um, see these lights here? Okay. So those are on a smart plug. So it is called patio lights. So turn on the patio lights. Okay. And they are on, as you can see there, should be cycling through the colors. And turn off the patio lights. Okay. Okay, so that is an example of how you use your, your fire stick with Alexa. It's uh, completely ready and you can say, show my smart home dashboard. Okay. Let's see if that actually works. Pretty cool, dude. Pretty cool. And you got your smart home, your lights, plugs, switches, cameras. Um, these ones, I guess if I go ahead and call them up once, they'll show um, thumbnails there. Now let's take a look at some of the other smart home devices in this room. This room is full of smart home stuff. This is the kitchen. So these under cabinet LEDs, now there's two ways you can go with this. You can go with native smart LEDs that have smart Wi-Fi built in or Bluetooth. Well, I, actually it has to be Wi-Fi. Some of them have both. Um, or you can have your lights on a plug and that plug can be controlled. So, however, on a plug, you cannot dim them. So um, these are actually on, a, on plugs. And so those are on smart plugs that are various places. One place being up here in the um, above the microwave. So I have one plug here for these under cabinet LEDs and one plug over here for these under cabinet LEDs. And they are not dimmable with that. They can be turned off and on with that. However, they are dimmable with the native remote here for the under cabinet lights. So. I don't usually switch them off and on, but I do have the capability in case I'm out of town and I want there to be light or not light in the, in the room. So that's on two smart plugs. Now let's talk a little bit about smart plugs. So you can see that smart plug right there. That's a generic smart plug. Those smart plugs use um, a generic app, which I will show you guys. I will take a screenshot of and uh, it's um, smart life. So that controls a lot of different generic smart devices. You can get an Amazon plug that will interface directly with Alexa and you don't need to run Smart Life. However, it is more expensive. You can get these plugs very cheaply and I will put a link to the smart plugs in the description. Okay, so we got the smart plugs on the under cabinet LED lights. And, and please don't pay attention to this. We don't promote um, flavored water on this channel. Okay, now let's take a look at a smart switch. Um, there's a bunch of different kinds. I have experimented with some. I wanted to try all different kinds. So these are the Lutron smart switches. Um, this is actually just a remote control for the other switch. The actual switch is right here. So the pros, um, there's not many. I thought this might be better for um, flickering, uh, it, it actually wasn't any better. And this also needs a hub. The hub is located by my um, um, cable modem and my, my uh, switch down there. So this is a smart switch. So um, it is kitchen lights. Alexa, turn off the kitchen lights. Okay. Alexa, turn on the kitchen lights. Okay. Alexa, set the kitchen lights to 20%. Okay. Okay, so that is a Lutron 
I think it's called a casita. I will link that in the description. So that is the actual switch. There, that's the actual switch. This guy over here, since it was a three-way switch, this is just a remote. You can purchase like the remote separately. So really it acts like a three-way switch. So we have that. Now, um, the live, well, we'll get to the living room when we get to the living room, but it actually is running the same uh, set of light. Now, there's another reason why I use this one and I will um, get to that in a bit. But yeah, so the kitchen is on Lutron Casita, I believe is the brand. Uh, the uh, the type uh, switch. Now this guy here is not on a smart switch. Just a regular old dimmer because it's just above the table. Now I'm going to eventually switch that out because almost everything here is on smart devices. All right, what else do we have in the kitchen? Well, believe it or not, we have the LG appliances are smart devices. You can see right there. Now, there's an issue with the LG skill. I have never been able to get the skill to work. So, I don't know. Actually, this guy. Oh, yep. See, it is on Wi-Fi. Okay. So, this works with an app called ThinQ. Um, and that's how they interface with smart. However, like I said, mine doesn't work. The microwave is not smart. This stove is. The dishwasher is. And the fridge is. So... In total, in the kitchen, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight smart devices in the kitchen. That's just the kitchen alone. Let's move to the garage. All right, welcome to the garage. Let's turn the lights on in here. Okay, let's look, take a look at the garage and what's on smarts in here. Now, there's a smart device in here that I was disappointed with. Uh, it's actually not compatible with Alexa, and that is my Chamberlain garage door opener. I'm super disappointed because I used to have a regular garage door opener with a smart um, interface for it. It's just like a generic smart uh, sensor, and it could open and close the garage remotely. My new Chamberlain, you have to use the app. You can't use Alexa. There's ways around it, but bottom line is they're too cheap to give Alexa, um, to give Amazon money so they can integrate directly. But it is Wi-Fi. See, it says it right there. And there is an app called MyQ. So the garage door opener is on the, is smart, but it's not integrated with Alexa, unfortunately. Washer dryer, well, yes. They are, uh, you can see right here. So the washer and dryer are connected to Wi-Fi, so which is super helpful. So these guys right here are the top of the line. They are the LG Signature washer and dryer. They cost about as much as you could probably get this car for now. Um, they are Wi-Fi enabled. Again, all my appliances are LG because I like to have them all in one place and they're all on uh, ThinkQ. And so these guys will alert me when they're done with a laundry load, which is very cool. Now, let's talk about what needs to happen. So I don't have a smart sprinkler yet. I have this old school thing, but I have a gift card. So I'm thinking about just going ahead and getting that done because I want that to be a smart device and not just a, uh, you know, old school analog one. Echo Dot, this is the newer Echo Dot. Um, I believe they upgraded the speaker. They had to go with a bigger, um, form factor here because they upgraded the speaker but that this is the uh this is the dot and uh it is helpful out here because i can do commands if i need to i mean you can always use your phone and you can use the alexa app but you know you've got this guy out here which is just uh commanded and by the way you can change the wake word so that all your devices don't think that they need to wake up when you say the same word but there's only like four choices this guy is called amazon Let's see, it woke up. Amazon. Never mind. Amazon. Turn off the garage lights. Okay. Now, this guy right here is automatic. Uh, this has a sensor. When I walk in the garage, it'll come on. But the other ones, Amazon. Turn on the garage lights. Okay. 
All right, let's talk about how that happens. So notice here, I spent quite a bit of time doing recessed lighting in my garage because I just liked the look of it and they are all LED lights. And then of course we have this guy here, which that was a standard light fixture. So I used it to light up the, the uh, washer dryer. Okay, that was on an LED, uh, on a smart plug, but it actually doesn't ever need to turn off. It's been on since I've installed it. So it doesn't need a smart plug anymore. These guys up here are on the coolest switches ever. They are on these RGB smart switch, which at the time this, this is not lit up, but I'll show you one in another room. You can actually change the color and the pattern on the switch itself. But yeah, so these are smart switches and they use smart life. Um, and that's how you um, link them to Wi-Fi and then into Alexa with Smart Life. You're going to like the ones I'm going to show you. So that's going to do it. That is the garage and everything in here that's integrated. Let's take a walk to the living room. Living room has a few smart devices. Let's, let's take a look around and see what we can find in here. First of all, we've got this television. And if we look behind it, yep, it has a Fire Stick 4K, which actually just plugs directly into your HDMI port, and then the power cable goes down, and it is connected with Wi-Fi to the router. Down here, we have a switch. Um, we have a network hard drive, and then back here, we have our Nighthawk cable modem. So that's what's providing Wi-Fi. Let's take a look around here. So the dining room light is not smart. It hardly ever gets turned on, that's why. These guys are. Um, so this guy right here is an Echo Show 5. His name is Computer. Turn off the living room lights. Okay. Computer, turn on the living room lights. Okay. All right, let's talk a little bit about the LED smart switch now. Now, here's another Lutron Casita. Here's an LED smart switch, which I have programmed with Smart Life. And you can see that I programmed this color and I programmed it to what cycle. This is actually for the fan. Computer, turn off the living room fan. Okay. There's several ways to control your fan. You can control it natively with a with a device remote device that goes inside the bell up there and it is Wi-Fi enabled or you can use a switch. However, with the switch, you can't set the fan speed. I do have one that you can do that on, but it is not in here. Computer, turn on the living room fan. Okay. Now notice it's named living room ceiling fan, but and said error occurred even though it worked. Now let's take a little bit closer look at this. Ah, oh, this is the best. So this is an Echo Show 5. Now this is the old generation Echo Show 5. It does have a audio output even though I don't need that. Now the interesting thing about this is, this is the wall mount for the Echo Show 5. And I'm going to put that in the description below but basically comes with a template you cut this out with a drywall knife and then you push the uh, mount in and then the echo show 5 just clicks right into the back of it it's so cool now where did i get power that's what you have to worry about you need power so you either need a power over ethernet adapter and pull ethernet through your walls and use that or this is so easy though because it's right, I put them right above a switch. So what I do is I hardwire, it's got to have a neutral wire. So remember, it's got to be like full power for the USB, it's a power adapter, like a USB power adapter looking thing. I hardwire mine to my switches. So you need some electrical skills to do that. And then um, I put the plug inside the wall. I don't, I don't cut or solder anything. I literally come off of... Um, I get neutral and um, hot and I go right into a female plug, like a wall plug, like a extension cord plug. And I plug in my uh, little Echo Show 5, which, you know, 
it might not be completely 100% uh, electrical code, but um, it's low voltage. I'm not concerned about that. So yeah, the wall mount, what a savior. And the cool thing about it is the speaker still works because the sound from the Echo Show 5 comes out right there. So, computer. Um, play some music. Here's a station you might like, Lord Huron on Amazon Music. Computer, stop the station. I don't want to get copyright strike, but um, you can see there, like you can play music on just this. Now the cool thing is you can play music on the entire house because you can create groups. So you can play on multiple devices at once and it shows you the, I love how it shows you the uh, lyrics there. So cool. And also just remember anywhere in the house, computer, show me the front yard. Okay. And this is the Y skill. There you go. All right, so there's that. There's the, showed you the RGB smart switch for that. I showed you the Lutron Casita. Now over here at the front door, we have a variety of devices. We have smart switches for this light here and for the patio light and my jacket just fell on the ground so there's those who noticed they're programmed with different colors so those are all from smart life now here's what's cool we have a smart door lock a ufi smart door lock well this guy's awesome it does integrate with alexa it does both so it's biometrics so it does both the fingerprint and a passcode or a key, which is underneath this guy here. You just move it aside and there's a keyhole there. The good thing about this is you can unlock it and lock it remotely or with Alexa and it locks itself after a certain amount of time if you want it to. So you can physically not get locked out of your house anymore. It's just not possible unless the battery just died on this guy, but then you go in through your garage what I don't have, I don't have a smart doorbell yet um, with a camera. Um, I kind of want to do that, but I also already have cameras up there in the corner outside. And I guess we can show you that now. This is actually a Wise Cam V2. It's not the outdoor camera, but it doesn't get wet out here, right, Mr. Binks? Mr. Binks, I think, heard the door open and wants to come. You want to come inside? Come on come in he's probably gonna get he's really a um, independent soul probably get bored so that's a summary of the devices besides this camera up there the uh, wise cam up in the corner which is pointed at my door um, we've got uh, yeah that's it for that room moving on to the theater room we got a few devices in here this fan is a smart fan. So I have a smart fan dimmer switch on that. And that is that guy right there. That is controllable with Alexa. And you can actually set, what? So vocal. And you can actually set the speed. Um, yes, and they do, I do have, I do love space stuff. So I got my astronauts. But yeah, you can set the speed there. Why are you so vocal? So in this room, we have a Fire Stick 4K. Powering the home theater system. Obviously, we have an Xbox One. We have the fan. We have the Echo Show 5. We have Mr. Binks, Thackeray Binks. And that'll do it for this room. Pretty much it, but I mean, still, you know, three or four devices per room here. Moving on. This is the computer. Turn on the audio closet light. Okay. Wow. So vocal. Wait, just flop down. Such a good cat. Not mine, but good. So we have the, the, whole, the uh, whole house audio closet, which I showed in another video. We have the Echo Dot right there. That's what's providing audio to the whole house. 
Now, of course, this guy is on the internet, but not smart. It doesn't integrate with Alexa. I know, but there is a smart plug right there on the subwoofer to turn it off and on if I don't want bass coming out of here. And one on this light, which you can see, computer, turn off the audio closet light. There we go. That is the whole house audio. RGB smart switch for the hallway light right here, programmable with smart life. Venstar thermostat, Wi-Fi enabled, computer, set Brad's house to 71 degrees. Boom, cool to 71. All with Alexa. Nothing in this bathroom yet. I want to, but I don't really need that at the moment because just one light switch there. I really want to put an echo show in here. Um, I just have to figure out where because this medicine cabinet is taking up a lot of the thickness of the wall. I really wanted to put it right there in echo show five. I might still do that. What? Why so needy? Bedroom. So now we're taking a look at some dimmable smart switches. This is a dimmable smart switch, will I, which I will put in the description. This is what is connected to these overhead lights. Now these overhead lights are LED. However, they have a really bad problem with flickering and I've seen people complain about it. But yes, this is uh, available on Alexa and you can dim these lights via this beautiful Echo Show 8. Again, want to get this wall mounted somehow but the depth is pretty good on it and oh, where are you going in the closet crazy cat so that's an echo show 8 the old the uh other the previous generation so it does have the um audio output on the back hopefully i didn't just bust it it does have an audio output so if you need to feed a home theater or a whole house audio with that you can um this fan is on a RGB LED smart switch, but I have it off obviously because it's really bright at night and it will only turn the fan off or on because it's not one of the built-in dimmer, uh, uh, sorry, uh, it's not one of the built-in ones where it's up in the bell there like in my theater room. This is for future home theater in here will be 5.1 audio. Um, I don't have the in-ceiling speakers yet. And in the TV, we have Fire Stick 4K. That will do it for the smart devices in the bedroom. Are you ready to go to the other room, Mr. Banks? Such a good kitty. So needy. All right, so next room we have is the office. So in the office, we have a variety of smart devices. We have a PC, obviously, which can run the Alexa app, so you can do everything you need from the Alexa app there. We have a monitor, actually a television, with, this is the only one left in the house, but this is the old school Fire TV that does the same thing. Get some lights going in here. That's the old school Fire TV that does the same thing as the Fire Stick. Um, they are, that's, I believe, the second generation model. So we can do, um, you know, obviously we can do Prime Video and Netflix and everything from that TV. We have the Echo Show 5 here, just like in every other room, mounted above a dimmer, smart dimmer. Again, interfaces with Smart Life for the in ceiling light, that bulb I have out because it drives me crazy with that fan. The fan is not a smart device. It has a regular remote. You cannot control it with Alexa. And she's gonna hear me in every room and wonder what I'm saying. So no, no smart on that fan. We have smart bulbs in standard lamps. Let's try it. Echo, turn on the office lamps. Okay. Now these guys are cool because they use Smart Life as well. And the bulbs are RGB. You can control the color of the bulbs. I have this one on white right now because in the morning 
I like just to use this light to work by. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six smart devices in here. Now, I haven't even showed you the bathroom yet, so this is the same type of dimmer for the bathroom. So it's a smart dimmer and it is on these two bulbs up here and these LED in ceiling bulbs. Okay, now we have a variety of smart devices here controlled in different ways. So these mirrors did not come with these LED strips behind them from the factory. They came with this guy, just white. Okay, that's how they look. Let's turn the uh, LED smart strips off. Alexa, turn off the mirrors. Okay. So notice the blue went off. Now, these guys are natively white, but I added LED smart strips to the back. Check out the mirrors. So they are Wi-Fi connected. And I know. Wow, so vocal. Um, they show the time, temperature, weather, all that stuff. So yes, they are backlit with a white LED strip from the factory. So that's what that looks like. Looks pretty cool. But I have some Govi LED smart strips. Alexa, turn on the mirrors. Okay. All right, those guys are configurable through Alexa and they have a app to do the patterns and the colors and all that. This guy right here is just a normal LED RGB strip that I can power off and on without, I cannot power it off and on with um, Smart Home. These guys I can. Pretty cool. And then in the bathroom, we have three RGB smart switches, four lights, fan, and shower stall, all controllable with Alexa and all configurable with the colors that I want. So that's what they look like in the dark. Closet, we have RGB smart switch for the recessed lighting here again set up with smart life configurable to whatever color I want let's move to the sunroom sunroom we have a variety of devices but we start out here LED RGB smart switch for the outdoor light in the yard. Dimmer, smart dimmer for the sunroom lights, the in ceiling. Remote for the smart switch for the pool light. The actual switch is outside. And in the home theater room, we have a wise cam. We have a monitor with a Fire Stick 4K. So when I'm huffing it out on my treadmill here, I can watch television. The fan is not on a smart switch. It has a standard remote control, speed control, light control. Right, Mr. Banks? And then outdoors, we have a Fire Stick 4K on this TV. And we have a smart switch on the pool light. And there goes a beautiful big bird flying away from the, I don't know. Do you want to go outside? Come on. Maybe not. So that is going to wrap up the smart home tour. I am going to put all the links in the description. You can do so much with Smart Home, and I'm sure I haven't touched the surface. But basically, everything is configured with Alexa on your phone or on the computer. That's how you do all the smart skills like the cameras and the thermostat. 
Uh, see, she's already talking to me. And so I want you guys, I'm encouraging you guys to ask questions if you would like to know anything more about configuring your smart home. Um, there's so much you can do with this. And I didn't even talk about the things like routines. So when you go to bed at night, you give the command and she does 10 different things at once, turns off all the lights or turns on a fan or, you know, does 18 things at once. Like for instance, my patio lights come on at dusk based on Jacksonville, Florida dusk time. They go off at dawn based on the dawn time, the sunrise time, sunset, sunrise, things like that you can do with, with uh, routines. So please, if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I enjoyed making it and I love showing you guys this uh, smart home.